All right, so I've got all my fixtures patched at this particular venue, so now I'm going to go ahead and set up my DMX output. We're going to go to File, Preferences, and go over here to DMX Outputs. Here, by default, you're going to see NTEC devices. Now, in this show, because I'm going to be working with the visualizer later on, I've gone ahead and set up Universes 1 and 2 over ArtNet. However, if you need to set up ArtNet or an NTEC output, you can go ahead and press Add New, double click on that destination field, and we're going to see the option to have an output device. So we can now set ArtNet, NTEC USB devices, and this is going to be an NTEC DMX USB Pro, RDM, or DMXs, or an NTEC DMX USB Pro Mark II. So you can go ahead and set that up. Say I'm going to use my DMX's box that I've got here. I can choose whether I want to transmit Universe 1 or 2. Of course, you only get one through these USB devices because they're a one universe unit. And then down here, if you did choose ArtNet, we'll go back to that, you can set whether you want to broadcast or unicast, where you want to broadcast to, the ports, and then down here, we can go ahead and set up our NTEC USB device settings. We can select our USB device if they're connected, same with our Mark II, we can go ahead and enable MIDI if we need to do that. Perfect. Once we've got that all set up, we go ahead and press that exit key. NTEC's going to try to connect to its NTEC hardware, which isn't going to work because I don't have it connected. And we can now go ahead and close out of those options and get going to program our first queue and queue list. I hope you really enjoyed these basics of DPro videos that are here available on YouTube. Be sure to check out the full post on DPro over at LearnStageLighting.com and sign up for our DPro mailing list where I'm going to be sending you guys some more information about DPro and how to make the most out of it to help you create amazing lighting. I'll see you guys on the DPro post and via email.